Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. It's not good news, I'm afraid. During the next 10 days, the strong signal is that we will continue to see low pressure after low pressure after low pressure, bringing yet more wind and more rain. Each individual event may not be as disruptive as the last two named storms, but we certainly don't want any more rainfall across parts of the country where we are particularly sensitive at the moment. What on earth is going on? Well, it's no coincidence that we had Storm Dennis last weekend and Storm Kira the weekend before. The jet stream at the moment circling the northern hemisphere has a certain wavelength, which means that we're stuck in a seven day cycle. What does that mean? Well, if you look back to around this time last week and this time the week before, what we saw was a cold plunge. Arctic air coming south across Canada, bumping into mild air across the Gulf of Mexico and helping to fuel a vigorous jet stream. And you can see the dark colours there, that powerful jet stream emanating out of North America, which then helps to fuel areas of low pressure arriving in time for the weekend. These lows are the low pressure systems that are arriving for Friday and this weekend to bring some unsettled conditions. But this low coming along later, well, it starts off on the warm side of the jet stream and then it switches to the cold side. And when that happens, well, we really start to pay attention because that can help to spin it up into a deep low and bring some disruptive weather, perhaps on Monday. More on that in a moment. But by this stage, Monday, well, the strongest part of the jet stream eventually clears through. It stays unsettled, yes, but at this time next week, well, what we're starting to see is the first stages of another cold outbreak across Arctic Canada, potentially renewing that seven day cycle once again. In the immediate future, though, well, our main concern is rainfall. The start of Thursday sees more wet weather across southern Scotland, northern England, parts of Wales and the southwest. Western Hills in particular a focus for the heaviest rainfall. Yellow warnings in force because these areas do not need more rainfall. The rain sweeps through after lunch and it's going to be particularly lively as it clears the southeast of England. Some strong gusty winds and then a sharp temperature drop. Colder air follows but with brighter skies and a few showers. Some lively downpours, hail and thunder, snow over hills or even down to lower levels for northern and western Scotland. Certainly building up over the hills and it will feel cold in the wind behind that weather front. Fast forward to Friday and reversal of conditions. We're going to see milder air returns, southwesterly winds strengthening through the day, wet weather pushing back into Scotland, northern England and northern Ireland through daylight hours. And again, that rainfall building up each successive event, building up across northern England. And that's an area of concern during the next few days because of that. It will also be windy, some strong gusts, particularly for southeast Scotland, northeast England, 65 mile per hour, perhaps as the wind bounces over the hills eventually turning milder through Friday and largely dry for southern half of the country until after dark. That's when this cold front does clear through, bringing some rain for the start of the weekend. But by Saturday afternoon, this is how it's looking. Cold front's gone through and then we're back into bright spells and blustery showers. And again, these showers in colder air that follows will be falling as snow, mainly over northern hills, but perhaps again to lower levels for the north and the west of Scotland, certainly building up over the hills. But there will be some sunshine in between. A strong gusty wind through Saturday for all areas, but particularly in the far north feeling cold in that wind, but we're at the uh, point where the cold air is bumping into the mild air. And if we trace that all the way back towards the Atlantic, you can see, well, first of all, Monday's low starting to form on the warm side of the jet stream at this stage. And then just ahead of it, just a small disturbance, which starts to develop into an area of rainfall. And there's some uncertainty at this stage in terms of the line of attack of this, but it looks likely that the southern half of the country will see some wet and windy weather for the start of Sunday. Again, yet more rain over western hills and risk of gales around coastal areas. Further north likely to stay cold, but in between there's the chance of some hill snow where that rain bumps into the cold air. But the exact position of the rain at the moment open to doubt. Whatever happens, it does clear, and by Sunday afternoon, most places back into that cold, bright, but showery airflow. Again, a windy day on Sunday, particularly in southern parts of the country. 
feeling cold in that wind as the front clears through and then back to the jet stream, that powerful core of the jet stream crossing the country and by this stage, this low is crossing to the other side of the jet stream, spinning up into a potentially deep and disruptive area of low pressure. And that will bring some strong winds for virtually all places on Monday, but the focus for the strongest winds most likely to be the northwest. And some wet weather sweeping through, hopefully relatively quickly, but it's still a long way off, so still a little uncertain. What happens after that? Still, like I say, it's a long way off as we get into next week, so too early to give specific details on individual areas of low pressure, but it looks likely that around the middle of next week, Tuesday night into Wednesday, another low will come along, carried by the jet stream to bring yet more wind and rain. Fast forward to the end of next week, and another low on that conveyor belt, pushing in to bring an unsettled end to next week and potentially the following weekend. Too early to give specifics on these individual lows, of course. Suffice to say, next week is going to stay unsettled, with the particular focus for the time being on Monday, staying very windy and potential for more rain. Mixed after that, no real sign of change over the next 10 days. So pay attention to the forecasts and the warnings during the next few days. Rain, of course, could cause problems and then wind for the start of next week and beyond. And you can stay up to date by following the Metal Fizz on social media, heading to the website, or downloading the app. Bye-bye.